Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kayla, this is Cork Budget, and let's go ahead and get into this week's video. So we have some things to talk about. I've been spending. <laughs> so at the beginning of the month, let me look. Yes, at the very beginning of the month, I went on like a giant closet clean out shopping, all these things. And I spent quite a bit of money on shopping for clothes because I was just not feeling good in my clothes, in my body, and how I was dressing and like just didn't have the basic things that I wanted to wear. So I kind of did a mix of like a capsule wardrobe and a like, like basics wardrobe where everything kind of goes together. So we have some reconciling for purchases that I have done. Um, in the past few weeks, I just wanted to kind of wait until I finished all my returns and did a few things and like just got through a couple of things before I had my final total and let you all know. So we're going to be taking some money out of savings today. Just <laughs> be warned, but let's get into my actual purchases for just this past week. So this week has gone from the 14th to today, which is the 20th. If you watch some of my other videos, you know that we were actually traveling this weekend. So I kind of just lumped everything into one day and it was all mostly on the 15th. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on to the 15th just because it was all kind of part of that and it's just a lot of things. So I'm going to put it all on the 15th. So we had some random things like groceries and shopping and a couple of meals. So I am draining the travel sinking fund. I did post on my Instagram like what we spent on that trip and like the breakdown of everything. But basically there were some presents, there was some travel-y things, there were um, groceries and all of that. So I'm emptying travel, which was all the travel things. I'm also emptying Emma's envelope because I did buy something for her. And then we have a new kind of sinking fund happening a little early. Um, I did find a Christmas present, so I bought that. So those are all the sinking fund items. I'll put the other stuff on the 16th. I also had just a little bit left over from all of this, and I'm going to take that out of spending. Come on now. And I think that that was it for that. I'm going to put clothes uh, on like the 14th, I guess. So I have spent $570 on basically a new wardrobe. I, brought, I bought new bras, underwear, basics, like tanks, tees, all of that. I bought a couple of outfits, just... I was feeling it was not good for my mental health, basically. And I know that sounds stupid that clothes weren't good for my mental health, but I just, I wasn't feeling very comfortable in my own skin and I kind of just needed a reset. And then on Tuesday, this week is kind of all over the place, sorry. Just kind of putting things where they fit. On Tuesday, my fiance did go to the grocery store for me, so I just ended up sending him money for that. Um, also on Tuesday, my beautiful sister is pregnant and having a baby, so I had to buy something for the reveal. She's just doing like diapers and wipes, so I bought her some travel wipes for her reveal, which will be this weekend. So, yeah, that is, I think, all of the purchases, really. I did grab yesterday, I guess. I can write that. Where's my pet? Oh, Michael's had a sale, but that's actually coming out of my buffer. It was two two dollars and fifty cents. I'm not gonna write it down. Um, my Canva did process and my phone process. So we'll go ahead and check off those bills. I honestly don't know where to put no spends for this week, just because everything was crazy. I mean, I guess Monday I didn't spend any money. My my fiance got us dinner, but I didn't spend. Yesterday I did, today I don't plan on leaving the house, <laughs> so I don't think I can spend money, but we'll see. This month is just a mess. We're going to have to figure something out for next month because this is not okay. 
Um, I did want to show you in my spending box in an effort to get some money back for all the clothes that I got rid of. I took them to Plato's Closet. They gave me $7 for two bags of, well, they took two items out of my two bags of clothes and gave me $7. So I just went ahead and started that in week five. It needs 10, but just put that in there. So that is what it is. They never take anything. So that is my spending. It was a little bit crazy. We have some finagling and some moving around to do for sure. So let's go ahead and get into that this paycheck we're looking at the 21st I did go ahead and make a zero based budget for this one I just kind of rounded everything how it needed to be so we're gonna be paying rent our electric bill and then for sinking funds we're doing $10 in flavor God paying that Canva paying that Christmas present we are putting 88 cents in the buffer but then we're taking out some it's just how my brain has to do it and basically, I have all of my Christmas money coming in September, but since I found a gift, what I did is I went ahead and took it from the honeymoon money. So this total amount between Christmas and honeymoon is the honeymoon money. And then over in September, I went ahead and added that money back to the honeymoon. Okay, moving in to the envelopes. I'm just like so not prepared for all of this. I'm just gonna go in order of envelopes this is my or binders this is my personal binder I moved my receipt folder up to the top I'm just I keep forgetting about it so I'm going to take my receipts and scan them into fetch rewards if you are interested you can get the link down below in my description box you'll get some bonus points I'll get bonus points basically you scan your receipts through your phone and like in the app and then you turn those points into gift cards that you can redeem so yeah I'll scan those later Nothing for gas. Grocery is twenty four sixteen. Which leaves fifty two in grocery twenty forty fifty one and two twenty forty fifty one and two. 52 in grocery we are emptying spending so 20 95 okay I think that's it in this folder folder is it in this binder on to my short term, nothing from beans. We are emptying Emma, 1268. Travel's also getting emptied. That is $34. Thirty-four twenty-four. I'm trying not to get discouraged that I'm emptying all of these, but I'm also just thinking like this is cash. Like obviously I use prop money, but this is money in my bank account that I'm not putting on a credit card, so I'm feeling good about it. I'm just trying to remember that. And that is it in this envelope. God, that is it in this binder. Ugh, okay, long term. Let's see what we have for long term. So Flavor God is getting 10. So that is 10, 21. We have a lot of spices right now, but I'm still leaving this money in here because by the end of the year, I think I only have like $40 in here, which is going to be right around honestly what we need. But I just want to make sure that I leave this in here. Ten dollars to Flavor God, and then I think that that's it in here also. So Christmas is technically like getting stuff taken out, but I'm not really doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that off, and then we are going to figure out this buffer situation so the buffer is getting 88 cents just from my paycheck which 
I know it doesn't make sense to put this in here like this, but this is how it works in my brain. So that's what we're going to do. Then I'm taking out of buffer. I was over a little bit on spending the clothes and the purchase that I made the other day. So it was the... Yeah, 366 out of buffer, which means that the buffer now has 216. One, two, 10, 15, 16. So not great, but it's not money that we're taking out of anything, which I'm happy with. Like I honestly am happy with that. So I'm gonna check those off. And then moving into clothing. So out of core savings, I'm taking $500 and that is the bulk of the clothing. I was really hoping to get more money from selling things, but it's honestly just like not worth it like I it was just a long time for them to do seven dollars so we're gonna take out 500 of that and then we're also taking out the money in my three month expenses this is all of the interest that I have earned from my high yield savings account so it's not great but it's not terrible and that five hundred dollars was the bonus that I got for transferring my money so again technically I haven't like used any of my money that I've saved Obviously, these were bonuses, and it would be nice to keep it in there, but it is what it is. So we still have 45 cents in here because I wasn't going to transfer the change, but that's where we're at with that. Um, what else? Travel, Emma, spending, grocery, clothes, Christmas. Canva, I need to pay back, but the money's not in there. I think the only other thing we need to do is the honeymoon, which is getting 156.35. And I can't color in anything for this, but I will go ahead and put in the money. So 155 and six. And I am gonna keep putting that into here. So in honeymoon we have $556 and 35 cents. So I'm just gonna put that into there because that's the first thing that we are paying off. Okay. Let me move this for just a second. I want to show you what I'm looking at off to the side. This is my like mess of things. So I paid off, I'm going to pay off all of the clothing ones that I've had sitting up here. So I'm going to check all those off so that we can be clean through here. Um, the wedding stuff from Michaels, I do need to transfer. So I'm not going to check that right now, but all of this is taken care of. I do have a planner that I have purchased. We'll talk about that in another video. All right, I think that's it for this video. We have taken care of all of the sinking funds and I will be transferring money and paying off like rent and the electric bill and all of those things off camera. <laughs> My cat has come into the room. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you would please subscribe. We are working on becoming debt-free, savings, and bulking up sinking funds. And it's just really nice to go on this journey with like other people and see your comments and all of that. Thank you all again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.